another one of our prospects called Akaduk. We, we were attracted to the Akaduk area, again, by looking at historical Soviet reports. They'd done a significant amount of um, uh, uh, geochem in the area, mostly in the form of soils and rock sampling, and identified a very large uh, uh, molybdenum anomaly, um, over 20 kilometers, 20 square kilometers in area. So we went down and took a look, and sure enough, this looks like it's a uh, classic uh, uh, lithocap, which you associate typically with, with another porphyry. Through scrolling through the, the historical uh, reports, we found that there was some drilling in this area, and uh, of note, they, that the Soviets drilled a hole that, that had a number of very high-grade intercepts. So, you know, 12 metres at 1.7% uh, copper, another one at 10 metres at 1.4% copper. In terms of how this fits into to, to the porphyry system itself, uh, that's still an unknown. But what's very clear is that this is a porphyry system it's a clearly a very big one, judging by the size of the lithocap that, that was identified with geochemistry. And of course, uh, there is associated copper mineralization with this porphyry. So this will be one of the, the key targets for us to follow up this year with our field program.